Hello friends, it's our God Moment Time in Family Ministries. We are continuing with the study on the book of James and so far we are learning the importance of being doers of God's word and having a compassionate heart for those in need, for our faith without good deeds is dead. So this week we're on chapter 3 verses 1 to 12 and it's titled Controlling the Tongue. Our tongue says a lot about our spiritual condition. Our tongues may be small but they can be very powerful. They can be for good or for evil. And James shares in verses 5 to 6, likewise the tongue is a small part of the body but it makes great boasts. Consider what a great forest is set on fire by a small spark. The tongue also is a fire, a world of evil among the parts of the body. It corrupts the whole body and sets the whole course of one's life on fire and is in itself set on fire by hell. So evil is set forth by evil talk. It's like a sting that can poison the heart. The tongue reveals more about us than we want to admit. Um, it's important for us to prayerfully then seek God's truth about our speech and ask why we might get easily offended or hurt from other people's tongues and or ask why we ourselves use our tongues to hurt and offend others. Christ followers can praise the Lord and be saints on Sunday and then turn around and pollute others being devils on Wednesday. We need to think about that because James says uh, after that part, he says, it ought not to be that. For any language used in a negative way is harmful. Satan, the father of lies, is quite eager to plant in our hearts lies and distorted thoughts and to quickly turn harmonizing Christ followers into chaotic ones. So the absence of God's truth is symptomatic of all kinds of evil. So we must be careful and prayerful that before we speak, what comes out is truthful, God's truth. When we speak, is it true? Is it kind? Is it needed? And is it peaceful? In our Ephesians study last month, the first armor of God that we're to put on is the belt of truth. And so thank God for his son, Jesus, our Lord and Savior, who is the way, the truth and the life who came to save us and who promised us help from the wonderful counselor, the Holy Spirit. God works to transform us, change us from the inside out. And when we seek the Holy Spirit in our lives, he purifies us, he cleanses our hearts, he renews our souls and he gives us gentleness and self-control so that the words we do speak honor God. So may we be quick to listen, slow to speak and slow to anger. 